three, two, one. Okay, so now we're back. We are continuing on with the general journal, page 19. Um, so I've posted the pages already. So we are just finished our trial balance and we balanced. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead and continue on forth with the 29th of June. So what happened here? Oh, yeah, sorry. I was just making sure my microphone is on. <laughs> yeah, feel free. Anybody. I'm not, I'm not going to pick on anybody. All right. So what happened on the 29th of June? What happened here? Okay. So, let's see, let's see what is the night. So, I'm going to go now. Account uh, receivable. Good. Yep, sales, regular coffee. said delivery income okay and what's my note here gonna say What were the terms again? 1%, 10, 15, 1, 15, 30. Okay. Close parentheses. What are my account numbers? 48, okay, and what are my amounts here? I'm going to double check my work here. For 218.81. Good. But for uh, for me as student, is it okay to just put close open parentheses on the regular coffee, the pound or cup, things like that, or no? No. 
you could do whatever you want. If that's information you want to place in there, because in our ledger, that's where we place all the information in there. Yeah, because rather than going back and forth when we are doing the the cobs and all those kinds of things, yeah. Wait, say that again. Repeat the question. When if right now on that screen on the sales regular coffee, is it okay to put a close open parenthesis there twenty one times? You know. Same thing in the Supreme Coffee, 20 times. No. You can, okay. uh, you can, wait, in the parentheses? Like right here in the description where it says uh, corner bookstore? Yeah. No, no, no. It's or in the actual coffee. account? Yeah. No. I do that. Like right next to sales, regular coffee, I put 21 pounds so that I can remember when I go to either the ledger or the um, inventory. I do that because that helps me remember so I don't have to keep going back to the scenario. That's, okay. That's my question there because, but then when it comes to presentation, yeah, I mean, it has to be as clean, as neat as possible. You know, it, 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 yes, it should be. Okay, so general rule of thumb, Whoever is the person that's going to be looking into your journal, you're responsible and whatever it is. But as long, the reason why it's not recommended to put the parentheses there is because the account number is the, or the account itself doesn't have that extra parentheses, blah, blah, blah. Like it's, it's like, it's like when we looked at our, uh, per, per, what was it? Periodic inventory, right? You had that parentheses beginning and then parentheses ending. They are essentially the same exact account. It is general rule of thumb, you should not do it. But I mean, as a beginner, if it helps you, then you may do so because again, this is your ground to practice. But if a company looks at that and they say oh, not to do it ever again, then you're just gonna have to follow their rules, okay? Because they're the one that's telling you what to do because you're gonna be the bookkeeper, okay? So again, again, for this class, it's okay. But for the future, it's going to be depending on who the accountant is in the company. And if they don't like you cluttering it, they want it to make it really simple and clean, then you're just going to have to follow along. Okay. Yes. So again, today, I mean, this class is your ground for practice and make it, in, you know, you know, if you made a mistake, you can go ahead and clear it out. That's the great thing about Excel and stuff, right? Especially if you do it on the computer. But if you're writing everything... That you need to practice to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Okay. All right, so good. So here you go. We finished that. So what's next? General journal. We are in the little journal. Okay. So where are we going to go first? Not, not yet. Not we. Not yet. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm sorry. What's next, kiddo? Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. There we go. So here we are. Accounts receivable. What's two eighteen? Oh, I was putting the amount already. I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay. So who do we? Okay. The total it should be twenty seven seventy nine twenty three. Good. Thanks. Got you, baby. Okay. Now we go to our sales. That's what teamwork is, right? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Not there's no liabilities yet. No, no there's no liabilities. Well, the sales coffee, uh, regular. Okay, so and here, I'm, right here. I'm, mm -hmm, and I'm having to restart my computer, but I believe it was 19. Was it uh, sold 19 pounds? We sold 20, 20, 21. 21. 
my computer over here is acting up, so I'm having to restart it. Okay, so 21 pounds. So this is what this is what Lynette was talking about. So next to for me, right next to regular coffee, I would put 21 pounds so I could yeah. remember that. So so um, 21 pounds. Um, with her reference. Right, 21 cups. Is it 21 pounds or cups? Pounds, because we're 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 a whole we're wholesaling. Got you. Okay. Um, GJ nineteen. Miss That should be, oh, that's, I'm all off. Hold up. Eyes are acting up. We're adding, we're adding. Adding, okay. So that could be, that, that could be the problem too. But, they, um, but my fingers are still not acting right. It's your finger that's not acting right. Fingers <laughs> 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 11, 81, 11. Uh, yes. 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 One, uh, 11, 81, 11. 81, 11. Good. Trying to help Lynette out, and I'm just over here cutting up. That's <laughs> it's okay. Both of you guys can fix your, each other's uh, uh, <laughs> problems. So, what happened on the uh, here for Supreme Coffee? Supreme Coffee, 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Yes, we sold. Oopsies. We sold uh, 20 pounds. LBS. Okay, general journal number nineteen. For what amount? Seventy nine eighty. Seventy nine eighty. And twelve thirty six ninety. Twelve thirty six ninety. Good. All right. I believe we sold eight of them. Yeah. Oh, I wrote the wrong date. I wrote the twenty eight. And fix that twenty nine. Okay. Thirty-nine ninety-two. Twelve seventy-six eighty-two. Oh no 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 no. I got fifteen eighty-three twenty-two. Where did I get that figure? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. We're almost there. Almost there, guys. Okay. So now that we completed mm -hmm. delivery. Okay, so the next is delivery income. Okay, delivery income. Oh, here it is. Delivery income. Invoice 109. GJ 19. $30. Two seventy. Okay, two seventy. All right. Now, what is next? We have to go to the um, subsidiary ledger. Good. We gotta update Mister Corner Bookstore over here. So there should be the last one. Corner Bookstore. So today is the 29th. Invoice number 109. Mm -hmm. GJ19. Same terms. So we have. So July 14. Or it's due July. 30 days is July 29. 
What's the invoice amount or the sales? 282.81. All right, therefore, they owe us on an account for $218.81. Good. So then where do we go next? Inventory. Inventory. Sorry. Inventory. So, okay, so we're going to go to regular coffee. Okay. And how much do we sell? Good at what number? One point six four six three three. One point four six three three. And then because I have an equal round in here, what's my number here? Thirty-four fifty-seven. Thirty-four fifty-seven, good. So let's update our inventory. Fifty-three twenty-five. Good. Okay. So there you go. Good. So we sold 34 and 57 cents, right? So let's go to Supreme Coffee. We sold 20 pounds at what cost per unit? 189. We only have one batch left. Okay. So then what is my number here? Thirty-seven eighty. I'm gonna double check. This isn't okay. Yeah, thirty-seven eighty. So let's go ahead and update our inventory. So if I started with one eighteen twenty-five minus twenty pounds, what do I get? Okay, good. For one eighty-five sixty-nine. Okay. Go back to general mm hmm Cogs, good. Count numbers. One twenty forty, good. All right. Regular coffee, thirty four fifty seven standard. And on the inventory, thirty four fifty seven. On the supreme is thirty four fifty thirty seven eighty. Thirty seven eighty. All right, and then note here. Mm. 
Who did we sell this coffee to? Mm-hmm. Corner. Of course. Sure. Here. I'm used to the word bookstore because of us as a particular store that they normally do. <laughs> okay. So now we gotta go back to our ledger. I believe we sold 21 for regular. That's right. Wait, 34, 67, 57. Eleven thirty-two oh eight. Good. And then Supreme Coffee. 11, 97, Good. Then we go to our assets. So here, under regular coffee. Good. Which is exactly what we have in our inventory on hand. Yeah. Okay, and then now we are here in Supreme Coffee. Which we know that's exactly what we calculated in our inventory worksheet. So, good. All right. We updated everybody and everything. So, what is next? Oh, wait. We got one more thing we got to do. Missions. So today is the 29. All right. 109. So therefore, he collected. And therefore, his total. 218.46. Good. Right. So then what has happened next? Paper of a ceramic. Okay. And voice 126. Right, where do we find that information? Um, PO. Not the PO. Yeah. Well, well, okay. Oh. Pay for off insurance. Okay, so then we go to the subsidiary ledger. That's correct. And we're paying all things ceramics. Yes. So, oh, not that ledger, but the subsidiary ledger vendor. All things ceramics. So let's look up that invoice number one twenty six. 
All right, so here we are for them for 126. Here we made an advance payment to them. All right, anything significant about this? Did we make the discount period? Yes. No. 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 We missed it by nine days. Oh. Yes. Yes. So in this case, we did not make the discount period, so we need to pay in full, but we made it before the actual due date. So props to us. So therefore, how much do we owe? What are we going to write this check out for? One ninety six. One ninety six. Okay, so now that we have the number, so how are we going to journalize this? We're making a payment to all things ceramics. Okay. So what are we reducing here? Accounts receivable. Um, um, accounts payable. Good. We're reducing accounts payable. payable. Right? We missed the discount period, so that means we got to pay the whole thing in advance. And how are we going to pay? We wrote a check. Okay. So. I'm trying to in order over here because I have some things going on with my computer. So if I seem a little disconnected, excuse me. That's completely fine. All right. So. I already looked at my invoice, okay? So I owe how much? 196. So I'm going to pay that bill off for 196. All right. All right. We go to the check register. Good. So now I know I am check number 1529. So let's put the date in. What was my amount again? And who am I paying this to? All things ceramics. All things ceramics. Good. So, I'm going to make a note. All things ceramics. All right. What invoice number is this? Try again. 109. For the invoice? Yeah. Try again. No, no, no. 126. I'm sorry. I'm still looking in the top part, the corner of the All right. Okay. One. Uh, all right. And then we know that it, we wrote a check number 15. I think it was 29. Okay. All right. Good. Hold on, let me, let me, let me close the door real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, so my journal's complete. Now what is next? Ledger. Ledger. Okay. And we're going to go to liabilities, accounts payable. Here's yours, 126. GJ19. I'm going to add the check number two so we right. indicate that 1529 GJ19. Oh, GJ19. And we're going to debit 196. Okay. 
So that should change your amount to 41, 49, 70. Yep. Okay. Next. Check in. I'll do the same thing. Invoice one twenty six, check fifteen twenty nine. Twenty-six forty-four. Crediting one ninety-six. Oh, okay. Sixty-six twenty-six forty-four. Good. Okay. Then we go to our subsidiary ledger. Yes, we do. Here we are. Author and Ceramic. And that was for. Invoice one twenty six. That was uh, was that a hundred marks? What was that for that? This was for the yeah eighty coffee mugs. Okay, so let's put eighty coffee mugs. Invoice one twenty six. Okay, I will also. Add that we're paying, so we'll put the check number 1529. Invoice number 126. Mm -hmm. GP19. As you said, since we're going to be paying the bill, then uh, we need to do a payment. $155. Wait, was that? Okay. Yeah, now, so now I updated, so now I owe all things ceramics in grand total twelve seventy three ninety six. So I just decreased the account by uh, 196. Question again. Yes. On the invoice number there, 126, are we not going to put a, a letter after that? Or is it that the, I remember you indicated about C or R. Yeah. yeah, C is when you have a credit, R is when you revise it. Okay, that's so nothing to put there. You don't have to. Okay. It's just saying that I'm making a payment to this specific invoice. Okay. You, if you would like, you could put P for payment or B for bill, for bill pay, whatever you want to do, whatever makes it easier and significant for you to recognize that, okay, these go together. I made a bill payment or I paid it. Okay, okay but for sure, C is for credit. R is for if in case you revise it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. What is next? We received from Atlas Coffee uh, 125 pounds of regular coffee and 125 pounds of supreme coffee with 1% um, 15 net service. Okay, good. And then, so we go to the journal. And the date is... Let's see which one. 29. I think I lost my phone. Oh, here I am. <laughs> um, so we're going to... I think I'm... Because it's regular coffee and supreme coffee, we're going to debit. Good. And then we're going to credit accounts payable. And then in parentheses, we're going to put Atlas Coffee 
input. And it's invoice 401, 1%, 15, comma net 30. Got it. Okay, and then um, the post reference num number for regular coffee is 12020. For Supreme Coffee, 12040, and accounts payable is 20,000. Good, and each one has, what's, what's the debits in each one? Uh, regular coffee, 177.50. Supreme Coffee 20750 and the total accounts payable is I didn't write it down. <laughs> so the total is let me look on the sheet. 385. Okay, grand off. Oh, I could figure it out. I could just go equals. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. 177. Plus that. 385. 385. Good. And then the next thing we're going to do, um, we're going to go to the ledger. And then we're going to um, go to our assets, and we're going to find regular coffee. And we're going to put um, 629. And we're going to put um, purchase. Purchase 125, 125 pounds. Mm hmm. General Journal 19. And the amount is 177.50. Good. And that's a debit. And then the total amount in the account, 196.08. 196.08? Oh, see, I know what happened. <laughs> Okay, love it. I, I hid the answer. Okay, go ahead and recalculate. You had the answer because I forgot to, our last um, two, two entries, I, no, the last entry, two entries maybe I didn't put in yet. I was going to wait until after class. So that's oh. what happened. Okay, so right now we start off with 87, 87.67. Okay. All right. And then the next one will be, Supreme Coffee. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. The answer is uh two sixty five seventeen. Sorry, I thought you were. I thought you were to calculate it. But okay, cool. <laughs> uh, because I forgot. I haven't put in. A, I believe the last two entries that we just did this morning. Okay. So I have to update it. Uh, okay. And then for Supreme Coffee, we're gonna have June 29th. Um, purchase. 125. Mm hmm. General Journal 19. Mm -hmm. And the amount is $207.50. Two oh seven fifty. Good. Bringing my balance to be now. Okay, 319, 19. Look, 
And then we're going to um, go to our accounts table. And the date is 629. Um, invoice 401. General Journal 19. And I don't have a total. Oh, how much am I? Well, how much am I crediting? Three eighty five. Three eighty five. Mm hmm. So, what's my new total? Um, I have forty five, thirty four, seventy. Yes. Uh huh. That's what I have. Okay. 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 Ok
and 25 messages. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Seriously? Okay, I guess I'll have to do this way then. Supreme Coffee, same thing here. It is... And you said it was for thirty-one twenty-five. And how am I paying this? Let's look. Those are the things that are sometimes where I get lost. I call it death. What does COD mean? Test. So we, we can check in. Test. And it should be for the total of 62.50. All right. What's your note going to be here? Freight line. Freight line. Seven O two. Check number what? And check number will be fifteen. Will be fifteen thirty. And then the last check that we issued was fifteen twenty nine. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to our check register. Boy. And we can go back to the inventory to update the total uh, in the per item here. So what's my total Supreme Coffee over here? Two thirty eight seventy five at one point nine one at a dollar ninety one even yes okay cool we're getting good amounts here so let's go update our inventory one twenty five it's regular I should say one twenty five mm hmm one ninety one uh, hold on I forgot my equal sign cell reference. For the one ninety one. Okay. Two three eight seventy five. Okay. So we updated our Supreme Coffee, so therefore we should have a grand total in on hand. It should be this plus this. Four twenty four 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 twenty four four four. Okay, so now we're here in our regular coffee. Good. Two oh eight seventy five, okay. And then inventory in hand, so we add the previous with the other uh the current one we issued. Mm-hmm. It was two ninety six four fifty. Two ninety six forty two, good. Well, no, in my Excel because I don't have that much space, so I just I just leave it I just leave it like that. I'm still having a problem with the cost 
calculating, so I'll see myself on my laptop. Okay. Don't worry. It's going it's probably most likely an Excel thing. You just have to format, reformat your cells. Okay. So here we updated our inventory. So what's next? We we skipped around two we skipped two things because you jumped right into the inventory worksheet. Subsit. Um, yes, yeah, subsidiary ledger. We can have. Did, did we? My, let me ask you this first. Did we do the ledger to put everything in for, like the checking and all of that? No. Okay, so then we need to go for the ledger. Hmm. Let me ask another question. Mm -hmm. Did do the check register? We did do that, right? Yes, we did. Okay, so then we need to go to the ledger because I had to step away for a minute, so I'm trying to help out. That's completely fine. So we're now going to go to the ledger. We have to update our inventory. Okay. And inventory. That is... Oh, oh, oh! I'm on my. I need to go on my assets. All right, here we go. Regular coffee. We need to do freight. Okay. GJ nineteen. There you go. Thirty one two five. Where's my calculator? I'm trying to find it. I had to. God, I got six and eight, seven, ten, four, four, one, two, five. That should be is it three forty nine sixty seven? Three. Two, four. Oh, I see what I did. I see what I did. Two, six, five, 17, 31, 25. Yep. That's 296.42. Yep. 296.42. Good. All right. Okay. Do that for the Supreme Coffee. Did I realize I didn't have that mistake? Freight. Thirty-one twenty-five should be four twenty-four forty-four. Four twenty-four forty-four is correct. Don't need to get your help out. Yeah. Okay. Now, last thing we gotta do is <laughs> then we need to go to checking. Mm -hmm. Excuse my cough. That was rude. Um, <laughs> it's, it's okay. And it was so nasty too. Um, <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, let's do freight line. All that except for we need to do um, invoice seven zero two and check fifteen thirty. Okay, for how much? Um, 62.50. Good. On the credit side, so what's your new balance? Stop doing all the blues. Okay, so hold on a second, don't do it yet. Six, six, two, six, four, four, Um, 65, 63, 94. 65, 63, 94 is correct. Good. All right, then where do we go? Okay, and then we need to go to the subsidiary ledger under Freightline. Freightline, mm -hmm. uh, with its Haley Bros, so one more above it. Oh. Right there. Okay, freight line. And that is for the 250 pounds of coffee. 
250 LBS. The check number, because I see that the is put there. Mm -hmm. Invoice 702. DJ 19. COB. Invoice 6250. Payment 6250. Should give you zero. Good. 6250. 60. Oh, did I miss 62? There we go. We need to go back to the inventory if we did not add the um, freighter. We uh, we did the inventory first. Bing, bang, then we're done with that then. Okay, good. All right, now one more thing that we have to do, and what is that? Mm. We received inventory, so what did we have to do? Cogs. Not cogs. We didn't sell anything. We did do the inventory already, Tennyson. Are we doing purchase orders or are we doing the check? Purchase orders, good. So here we go. We finally received our coffee for the eight, for the 385. So we can go ahead and say that was check, no, I was um, invoice number 401. Good. So everything that we made a purchase order for, we received everything. So good. All right. I think we have time for. Invoice number 401. It says right here for the. Yeah. Coffee is 401. Oh, oh, okay. I said 702 because I was looking at the yeah, wrong. Yeah, I was looking at the 702 myself. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. So, um, I, let me see. We think we have time for... Okay, I think we have time for two more. So let's go ahead. Let's, what does it say here? We purchased from? Restaurant supplies. Okay, so we bought another 2,000 cups. I meant 4,000. Mm -hmm. So we will debit both medium coffee cups and large coffee cups. And then visa payable. Good. Credit. Okay, so maybe um, coffee cups. And we need to figure out the sales tax for the two. What are my account numbers? Um, 11, uh, 11, 760 for medium, 11, 765 for large, and then 22,000 for visa payable. Okay, so we'll go ahead and solve for the distribution of tax. Righteous. Hold that box. Um, let's see, one fifth. Now, the taxes, are we rounding up? I'm getting 12.375. So should we do 12.38 for the large? That was a question for you, Linda. Okay, five. Yes, you would round because we got charged tax for $20.63. $20 they have to come out even. 
So you need to distribute. Normally, tax would be distribute higher towards the, the one that you paid more for. Right. Okay. It's 108.25. The first one is 108.25. The other one is 162.38. 162.38. I'm through, Tennyson. Were we on the tax of uh, 8.25 or 8.75? Uh, okay. What do you Zero say? Eight. The tax, what tax are we using? 8.25? It's always mm -hmm. been 8.25. I, I have already in mind the, the, up, the, the updated taxes. Mm -mm, don't well, no, 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 no. That one, it, it gives you even more complicated numbers. So no, let's, well, let's yeah, keep it simple at 8.25% and keep it consistent. Okay. Um, because, you know, it also depends on what local, like what, what city you belong to. Okay, so here we go. Good, and what's my note going to be here? Um, restaurant supplies. Visa. Four thousand cups. That's all I got. Good. So, what's next? Then we must go to the ledger. The ledger. Okay. Here we are under assets. Let me see. Scroll down to business supplies. Here we are. Medium coffee cups. Mm -hmm. 2,000 cups. Well, I could just copy from above. Mm -hmm. GK19. One zero eight twenty five. Bringing our balance to be three seventy eight eighty seven. Good. Moving on. Cups, same thing. Two thousand cups. GJ. 19, 168, 30. 162.38. So we go revise again. Okay. <laughs> Where's your five? Nine, five. That should be 568.33. 568.33. Good. Go to liabilities, visa payable. Liabilities, visa payable. We should do um, restaurant supplies. GJ nineteen. We are already on GJ twenty. Oh, right. you are right. Come through, Lynette. Okay, so let, let me go fix those real quick to GJ nineteen. I uh, twenty. Okay, up here also GJ twenty. Okay. All right, so going back to my uh, visa payable, GJ20, credit. 7063. 27063. Yes, ma'am. And then it's 2015, 26. 1885.89. 1885.89 is correct. And then we need to go to our subsidiary ledger. Subsidiary ledger. Two restaurant supplies are restaurant supplies. Got it. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the date, 629, 4,000 cups. Liza. And then we're going to do... Do we have any race information? Nope, we don't have any. It's okay. Don't okay. worry about that. So GJ20. Amount uh, $270.63 for invoice. Same for payment. Match the payment. And makes this a 49 plus 49 plus 270.63. Should give us $920.12. So why? Oh, oh, you added these together. Oh. I see the so at the bottom, it should come up to unless I'm like. So, oh, okay. so what you did, you added everything. It's supposed to be subtracting everything. So it's supposed to, you start with your invoice amount. Mm -hmm. And then you're supposed to subtract your prepaid because that decreases it, right? You're supposed to subtract your returns and allowances, <laughs> subtract your discounts, and then subtract your payments. Okay. All right. So there it is there. Okay. So it's 49, 49. Good job. We don't owe them for that uh, particular uh, particular. What's at the top? Forty nine, forty nine. Uh huh. Because we 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 bought a cash register from them, and we decided to put it on a twelve month payment. Righteous, heard, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going ahead and we're we're gonna just wear that twelve months out as long as we can. Yes. Gotcha. Next month we'll start paying. Heard. Okay, but in this case, we're only stopping at June 30th. We don't have time for the next month. Um, okay, so what has happened next? So I'm tapping out because I volunteered um, my part today. Somebody else <laughs> can go ahead and come through for the class. <laughs> All right, what has happened here? No, what are they? They're not inventory. What are they? Assets. They're assets, but specifically they are business supplies. It's not in our main core of our business. We're not, we're not selling the cups. We are using the cups, and we will go ahead and experience what you do when you use, up, when you use your cups in probably next week, Monday. So the next thing is we receive payment from a great restaurant. Ooh, we received a payment from Great Restaurant for what invoice? 104. 104. Check number 45 and 4512. So, where do we find our invoices for our customers? Customers. Okay, so customers on the subsidiary ledger. So this was Great Restaurant, so it should be the very first customer on the list. Great Restaurant, we're looking at invoice number 104. So how much does or do they owe us? Uh, we have to debit the uh, sales discount. We have to do the sales discount, good. But how much do they owe us? There was 556.05. Good. 556 and 5 cents. And they paid before they paid within the discount period. Alright, so 10 days. Is that right? 22 22nd of June. 10 days. It's the second of July. So good. So we got a 1% discount. What do we do here? Let it uh, under sales discount five fifty six. Okay, you got five fifty six now. Yeah. What did you include? Uh, the total amount. Can we discount everything in the total amount? This is uh, based only on the actual cost of the item. Correct. No tax. No tax the, well, in this case, there is no tax. We never tax them. 
But there is one thing that we did do. Do you guys remember what it was? Delivery. Delivery. So we can't ta we cannot take a discount off delivery. All right. So how are we going to calculate the discount? All right, so we have to take our full invoice amount, subtract out that $30 worth of delivery to be five twenty six zero five, dollars And then multiply 1% one, um, 1 yes. Mm-hmm. So it's five twenty-six. It's $5.26? Yeah. All right, so $5.26 is the discount. All right. So how much do they actually pay you? Uh, 550.79. 550.79. All right. I'm going to apply that here. So the, they so you pretty much paid for the thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and Okay, so good. All right. So there's a few things that we have to fill out before we fill out their subsidiary ledger, unless you want to do it because we're already in there right now. Or we could just do it right now. So the 29. What check number did we receive from them? 4512. 4512. And the invoice was for invoice number four. Hold on, Tennyson, did you say hold on? What? No, I didn't say. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so now here we finish our subsidiary ledger so we don't have to do it again. Um, but here, so we recognize that the check was for five hundred and fifty seventy nine, and we have to discount for $5.26. So what are we going to do in our journal? How are we going to recognize this? Checking. Yes, because we see received money. Good. Let me write the date. So 226. I mean 629. We received a check. So there you go. Checking. Okay. And sales discount. Sales discount is correct, right? Because he paid within terms, so he deserves for the sales discount. And then Mm -hmm. Credit uh, accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. Good. All right. Can you tell me what the account numbers are? Uh, 10, uh, 10 hundred. Mm -hmm. 46,000. 11,000. Okay. And what are the amounts again? 550, 79. And five dollars and twenty twenty six cents, which should equal it's ten uh, zero five. Good five fifty six oh five. Good. And what's what do you want to put the note to be? What do you want the note to say? Great restaurant in nice number one not four. Okay, it's a great restaurant. Invoice one o four. Four five one two, good. Oh, and I'm also going to write one percent discount. Mm -hmm. So you at least know how much the discount was for. Okay, so good. We already did the subsidiary ledger. So what comes? Uh, and then the deposits. Deposits. Okay, four, 
the 550 79 oh 550 79 right then uh, ledger ledger good and we're going to increase our checking account What's my note going to be in my checking account? Nice number one, not four. Uh, number four, one, two. Check. Number. Good. And um, PG20. 550 79 David. Good. So we'll bring in my new total balance to be 7114.73. Good. And uh, under revenues, sales discount. Oh, sales. Sales discount. Restaurant one percent discount invoice number one not four. Okay, great restaurant one percent discount invoice number one o four. Good. Five twenty six. GG twenty. Only five dollars and twenty six cents. Good. Bring in my grand total to be one eight eight four. One eight eight four eight five. Good. And then that's receivable. Here we are in account receivable. In my number one, not four. Check number whatever four five one two. GG twenty. Credit five five six zero five. Good. Total comes to uh, 2,223. Good. Okay, yay. All right, let's see. Let me see if we have time for the next one. Receive payment from Katie's Coffee Corner. Mine as well. We'll do it next day, please. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question. How to get the check for figure? What, which, which figure? When we went to the, the CGL ledger, when we took the, the discount of the discount of 5.26, what mm -hmm. did you get the figure? So here I placed it in the sales discount, right? So what happened here is 55605 includes delivery income. The delivery charge, the $30 delivery charge. So what I did is I took 55605, I subtracted the delivery charge to get me a total of 526. And then times 1% should give you 5.26. Because I was going to, I was searching for the original uh, invoice. Uh, invoice, oh. Yeah. The original invoice on the 22nd to check the actual. Yes, you can always do that as well. Now when we go into QuickBooks, you don't have to look for it. You just go to the profile and you look at or you go, you can look up the uploaded receipts that you have or invoices. So 
instead of you don't have to look for it. So in this case, we know that there was a delivery charge in there for $30 because that's what we normally charge. So we can just safely assume that it should be the fi it should be for 526.05. Okay. Okay, and then okay, so Tennyson wants to call quits. <laughs> Doesn't want to do any more. All right, yeah, if you want to stop here, we can. It is 11.30. Okay. So with that being said, we can stop here. Just a few announcements. So again, your quiz starts at 12 o'clock today.